Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shalia, if you are brand spanking new here. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial. I feel like I haven't done a tutorial in so long, but really it's just been, you know, a lot of new products have come out and then Christmas was around and so there was, there was just a lot going on. I don't think I've posted an actual tutorial since New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve. So what's great about this one is that, is that is that English it's actually super simple I use three shadows max mm, four four <laughs> technically four shadows to do this look but on the main part of my eyes there's only two shadows which is kind of awesome so it's super easy super amazing to recreate um, it's fun it's easily wearable if you are going out to hang out with your girlfriends or if you've got a man by your side who doesn't care how much makeup you wear like mine um, you know you just Rock it for a date, or screw that, wear this to the deli, okay? And then show up and show up and be like, hey guys, what's up? Can I get that bottle of water and a Kit Kat? Thanks. See you later. <laughs> so, if you guys want to learn how I recreated this, then stay tuned. But before I go ahead and move on, I'm going to ask you guys to do me a small favor, and that is to subscribe to my channel. We've got some new subscribers that I checked out yesterday, and so I want to say hello how are you guys? Welcome to the family. I hope you guys enjoy being here. I hope you guys enjoy seeing me, talking to me, and getting to know me and all my drama. Um, <laughs> not necessarily drama, actually. No, I take that back. Not drama. Just life, you know? Welcome. Anyway, um, I'm running on in this intro like I normally do, so I'm going to stop and go back to what I was saying and that's to subscribe click the bell so you guys get notified as soon as I post something brand spanking new and of course give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it and last but never never least leave a comment down below if you've got something cute to say because if you don't you know what I say keep it cute or put it on because ain't nobody got time for that and so without further ado let's go ahead and let's jump into this video I'll see you guys on the flip side all right guys so let's go ahead and let's get started I obviously already did my brows and I am prepped and primed on the skin so we're just gonna jump right into the eyes we're gonna go ahead and prime the eyes with my P Louise eyeshadow base um, and I'm just popping this onto the tip of my beauty blender here and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it onto my eyelids you guys already know I'm not neat <laughs> with this stuff, and I don't care, so, yeah. Mm. I just realized you guys might want to be a little closer for this, so I'm going to zoom in just a bit so you guys can kind of see a little bit better of what's what I've got going on, you know? Alright, y'all, we are up close and personal. Alright, so now that we've got this eye all primed, obviously we're going to ignore this one and kind of act like it doesn't exist for the moment just because we are going to focus on this one you know <laughs> so today I'm using my James Charles palette to go ahead and get this started so starting with a clean Morphe M441 brush I'm going right into this shade right here and then starting in this outer corner here I'm just going out go ahead and build up the color and I'm just bringing it inward slowly so it's okay if it's not neat it's okay if it's not precise we are just going to continue building and building until we are happy with the coverage and then you want to just keep doing this until you are completely satisfied with the way it looks and then of course we are pulling this color out for that um, smoked out dramatic effect. Effect, I think I just said effect. <laughs> Alright, now going back into the palette, I'm taking this shade here. It's a bit more of a true red. Then starting in that same outer corner, I'm building this next shade up. And this is a MAC 217 brush that I'm using here. And you just want to pull it all the way across the lid. And 
So next I'm taking this shade right here. And then just right along the lash line here is where we're popping this color. Very lightly, you don't want to be pulling it up too high. Using very small side to side sweeping motions is what I'm doing here. Then I'm just taking that true red and I'm brushing it along my lower lash line. Since we have um, eyeshadow base there, if you don't feel like you have enough, you can take a small um, brush and brush some um, of the eyeshadow base right down here and then pop the color on top. And I am using a bigger blending brush here because I don't mind it being a little bit more dramatic and pulled down and then we can clean it up with concealer any I mean with foundation anyway so that's okay now I'm taking a lip liner from Kylie Cosmetics this is actually the shade Junebug if you have a purple liner that's great <laughs> I don't <laughs> so I'm just taking this and I'm just going to go ahead and run this along my lower lash line tugging on my lower lash just looks so sexy on camera doesn't it gotta love it then taking this purple shade here in the palette I'm gonna take a pencil brush um, and just dip right in here and I'm gonna just pop this right in you my inner corner I'm just popping some mascara on before we move on and finish up this look this eye not the whole look imagine bye And I'm going to just pop on some lashes. These are my Baddie Bee lashes in the style Instaho. I've worn them about a bajillion times. It's not a number, but that's cool. We're going to act like it is because they are my favorite lashes. Now I'm just taking a black liner from MAC. This is the liner Feline, and I'm just lining, tight lining my lash line here. Um, just to kind of make sure that none of the red is peeking through my lashes since we're not wearing any eyeliner on the top. Alright, so now that that's all finished, we're going to go ahead and do this other eye off camera and then we're going to finish up the face to pull everything together so it doesn't look like this. Give me one second. Alright guys, so I'm back and obviously both eyes are now done so we're going to go ahead and move on to the face. Like I said in the beginning... <laughs> Like I said, like I'm like scolding you, right? Um, so like I said in the beginning, I actually already did prep and prime my skin after I did my brows. So we're going to just move right on into front frowned. No. <laughs> foundation. Today I'm using the Morphe Fluidity Foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that right on to my Morphe sponge. This is the one with the flat uh, side or bottom or whatever side you want to consider this. And because as simple as this eye was, it's really bright and really dramatic. Um, I'm using a full coverage foundation. Seems only fair. Now, um, we're going to just conceal like we normally would. We're going to use the Morphe Fluidity. <laughs> concealer and take this opportunity to clean up my under eye beauty blender <laughs> and um, so I like to use a beauty blender rather than the morphe sponges to blend out my concealer just something about the way the finishes is like what I prefer so uh, that's what we're doing. It is so humid in here. Like, I know last video I was like, it's freezing. It was. It was. And now it's too hot. Like, I can't find that happy medium. It's very frustrating. I, I mean, like, you know. Oh, that concealer right there tried to play me. So we're going to have to fix that in a second. Next, I'm taking my KKW Beauty Contour Sticks. And I'm going to just go ahead, wait, what number is this? Oh, no, that's not the one I want. That's the one. Mm, there we go. Uh, yeah, we're going to just contour. Nothing special or different here, so... I don't have much to say about it. Oh. 
What I will say is lately I've been brushing out my cream contour with the Morphe E8 brush. It's a little brush. looks like this. Super cute. And I've actually been really liking that. Liking it. Like how it looks, you know? So now I'm going to go ahead and bake. And of course, I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and my beauty blender. Also, you guys, fun fact, um, I'm going on vacation soon, although I am not going to lie, I'm freaking out a little bit because my, I just sent my passport in for renewal and it's still not back yet, and I'm leaving in two weeks, and I'm like, please. Um, so, God willing, it gets here in time, um, I'm going on vacation, I'm not going to tell you guys where just yet, because I got all the proper tools to vlog this trip so I'm so excited cuz we're gonna just be taking a shit ton of videos for YouTube and then a ton of pictures for the gram and I'm gonna definitely make sure to film a couple of like travel makeup tips and tricks like things I like to do uh, while I'm out there so um, if you're not already subscribed you should definitely subscribe so that you don't miss that or really you should just subscribe so you don't miss anything but if you like travel vlogs and you like beauty and you like lifestyle like hi my name is Shalia nice to meet you shake my hand through the camera firm shake look me in the eye means you mean it just throwing it out there so now I'm just bronzing up with my ABH bronzer I use the shade cappuccino but any bronzer will do But anyway, um, yeah, I'm like super excited to be going on this trip. I've never been to the place that I'm going. <laughs> I've also never even been to anywhere near it, so it's exciting, or even like anywhere similar. Um, not to say that like some countries are similar, but like, you know, every country and every city has something very different to offer, and so even if you've been to one place it's always kind of nice to like just explore somewhere else even if it's super close by but you know I'm just excited to go and like be experiencing this side of the world it's like really exciting um so yeah hopefully like <laughs> my vlogging skills are not bad I've done like practice vlogs that I've even edited and everything and just never posted even though I had every intention of posting them was just like eh it took me too long to edit this um but yeah, but this time, there will be no, no, no post. There will be a post, is basically what I'm saying. So, you know, check me out. If you want, no pressure. So, while I still have my bake on, looking for this brush, I can't find it. You would think I'd be able to find it because it's covered in red eyeshadow. Ah, there we go. Uh, hi. Okay, so while I'm, my bake is still on, I'm just going back with my brush, and I'm not picking up any new product, but I am just um, diffusing where I might have messed it up um, in applying my concealer, and then anywhere where like I cut it off, for example, like over here, I'm just pulling it back out, so it's still got that same like snatched effect. And if you feel like you need product, you absolutely should pick some up on your brush. Um, right now I don't feel like that, so that's why I'm not. Ah, oh, yes. How funny guys, I just got a notification <laughs> that my passport's printed and that they're gonna mail it. <laughs> so, unless it takes two weeks to get mail, God willing it does not, at least I don't think it does. Um, have it! Anyway, moving on, back to the important thing here, beauty. I'm taking my Morphe setting mist, and I'm just gonna, before I highlight and do anything else, just, you know, kind of calm down my face from all that powder. But I get asked all the time, like, why my makeup lasts all day long, and it's because I bake like a nut. 
like you see that was on for a hot minute it was edited obviously but I probably had that on for like six seven minutes but then I cool it down with setting spray so it kind of like just melted back in so it doesn't look so powdery I'm sorry I'm thirsty Was that rude to do right in the middle of my sentence? Probably, but I was really dehydrated. All right, so moving on. <laughs> now that I've bored you guys to death with my personal business, um, I'm taking the Farsali Jelly Bean. <laughs> Redo. Um, I'm taking the Farsali Jelly Bean Highlighter, and I'm just taking a little bit. I'm talking like a schmidgen. And I'm popping it onto my middle finger here. And then very delicately, I'm popping this onto my cheekbone. And I'm doing very light sweeping motions. Because you don't want to go too heavy with this. Because it's kind of harder to clean it, I guess. Like fix it is, is like the better word that I'm thinking for. And so you want to just keep doing that, building up and building up until you are happy with the highlight that you've got there. I'm gonna just take a little bit over here too and then just right on top of it I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills X Amrezy highlighter and this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills 823 brush and I'm just popping it right on top of the Farsali this makes the highlight just snatched you know Lastly, I'm going to pop some blush on, and I'm taking my ABH on a, my ABH, ugh, English, okay, my ABH blush trio, this is the, I'm taking the center shade right here, that is called Scorching, um, and this is a Sephora blush brush, it's number 74, and I'm just popping it right onto the apples of my cheeks in very delicate motions, because the color is fairly similar to the eyeshadow, so with a little bit more pink. So I don't want to go too overboard, but I definitely want to tie the colors together. So I'm pulling it a little bit higher up on my cheeks. So I'm starting on the apples and then I'm bringing it kind of almost around the highlight, like on top of it. <laughs> now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. And I'm going to just go ahead and line my lips. Because let's be real, you guys didn't think I wasn't wearing a nude, right? Because I'm predictable as f you know, you know, beep, <laughs> as f Then I'm taking the shade Nude Chica from Dose of Colors X I Love Sarai. Um, and popping this right under the center. What I like about this nude is it does have some pink undertone. And it can be worn like on every skin tone just with the right lip liner. And if I'm not mistaken, she has a whole video on her channel of, like, give you guys, like, ideas of, like, how to wear it and what liners work best with what skin tone with the lipstick. Which is kind of cool. It's pretty awesome that she, um, you know, took the time to do that. Alright, now I'm giving myself uh, another layer of setting mist. And then I'm actually taking the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I'm going to pop it right on top of the highlighted areas so basically just the perimeter of my face to give it like a more luminous finish <laughs> I'm just like dee -dee, dee -dee, dee -dee, dee -dee. so you guys see so you guys could see what I'm talking about all right you guys and that concludes this look I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you want to recreate it in the comment box down below and like I said in the beginning if you did not already please don't forget to subscribe click the bell so you guys get notified and of course of course of course give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it was a pleasure as always you guys know I love hanging out with you you guys are probably some of the fav my favorite people to hang out with cuz you know it's just us vibing Hi, how are you? You know, y'all are my favorite. Air hug, give me a hug. <laughs> Let me get the heck out of here. I gotta go to work, actually. So, um, yeah, peace out. Love you. Bye.